Okay, hey guys, what's up? Um, unboxing video, I guess. Uh, the last couple of weeks, um, my mice, my mouse, uh, started acting up. Started getting the uh, double tap issue. I've been using a um, this is a Steel Series Zai mouse. I've been ha I've had it for over two years. So as you can see, it's pretty. You don't even see the um, the white paint anymore. It's been, you know, it's been it's been used a lot, and it's starting to get issues now. It's two years, it's good lifespan, I guess. So uh, basically, what happened was um, like double tap issue is like if you, if you uh, tap it one time, it registers as two clicks instead of one. So it started uh, at first. It happened once in a while, then as the days kept going on and kept becoming more frequent so I finally decided uh, I need a new mouse so I decided to get but uh, I didn't want to pay pay big money so I got this off Amazon it's the Red Dragon uh, Mammoth Laser Gaming Mouse I think it was like 20 28 bucks off Amazon at the time and I got it with the bun, not the bundle, but uh, you get these two together, you get like a dollar off. So this is the Red Dragon um, Ar 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 Archelon, Archelon, I don't know, Archelon, Archelon gaming mouse. This is the mid size one. So I, I said, you know. It's time for a change. Let's do this. Oh yes, yeah, so, uh, my old my old mouse pad is actually a this. As you can see, it's pretty old. I've had this one for about um, I think maybe four years. This is a hard plastic. Very hard plastic. This is a uh, Rats Pad XL that I got off of. Um, What's it? Rats Pad XL. I got off uh, hard hard forms. The hard forms. As you can see, uh, I'm missing a grommet here, and I've had to super glue a lot of this uh, stuff back on. Super, super glue, super glue, super glue, and I actually lost one, which is kind of annoying because now it slips and slides without without the grommets. So that's why I decided to just get the bundle, the bundle here. Okay, so let's do it. Um, shit. That's how the box looks like. Just, just like that. And, um, okay, so get the paperwork. I don't think I'm gonna read it. Oh, you get the you get the the mini discs, the mini DVDs. I don't know. I'm probably not gonna use it. I don't really use pro programmable keys. I just use the uh, you know left and right click and the scroll mouse. Let's see what is this? Oh, this is the. I believe this is already the, uh, the thing you put on the bottom of the mouse. Let me check. Okay, it comes like this. Oh, the, oh, these are the replacements. Close. Open. Oh, this is for the um, the weights. I'm guessing all the weights are in here right now. I'm trying to open it. It's pretty stiff. Oh. It was open. There it goes. You just gotta pop it off. Okay, this. Okay, so you can adjust the um, how heavy the mouse is with these things. I actually like my mouse pretty heavy, so I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it all the weights in there. Close it. Okay. 
got it. Settings. There's a setting switch button right here. I guess I don't know. Uh, it has like a like a grippy, a grippy feel right here. Yeah, it's definitely grippy. The, the black paint, grippy. Okay, let's read, read what the box is. Also, I really like the fact that uh, the cord is braided. I don't know if you can see. It's a braided cord. Which is pretty cool for 27, 28 bucks mice. Okay, this is going to be the, the part that lights up. These are the DPI, DPI switches right here. Scroll mouse. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth scroll mouse. Um, what is this? Okay, three side buttons. Power button. There's a programmable power button. I'm reading this. I'm reading it off the box. Uh, they have another version of this mouse where you get the like ten, ten uh, buns here. But like I said, I don't really use um, programmable bun buttons. So I just got the, the mammoth mammoth version, which is just a regular mouse. And it, um, I got, I got I got small hands, but it feels pretty. Uh, I got pretty small hands, but it, uh, it it fits my hand though. Let me see. This is the Steel Series I for uh, comparison. Try to get into the frame here. Try to get the angle right. Um, as you can see, the Zai is a little bit bigger. Uh, no, it's a little bit longer. The Zai is a little bit longer, but the Mammoth is a little bit fatter. Like the Mammoth is fatter, the Zai is a little bit longer. But uh, it actually feels pretty good in the hand. It's a little grippy though. Archelon. How do you open this thing? I should zoom out, but I can't zoom out. <laughs> okay. Um, wow, it's pretty. It's pretty thick. The thing is, this thing is thick. It's the. Uh, it has the. Um, Trying to get it to focus. It has these braided, not braided, but thread, uh, which got the border here for extra protection, I guess. I don't know if you can see. Try to get it zoom out a little bit. There's a little braided section here. But um, it's pretty heavy mouse. It's a pretty heavy mouse pad too. Pretty heavy. Let me, let me. Uh, this is the uh, Rats Pad XL. And it's actually completely. It's actually larger than the Rats Pad XL. It's roughly this. Like, it's probably like I don't know. It's like um, about maybe half an inch. Not half an inch. Maybe yeah, maybe like half an inch on uh, the border. Like half an inch larger than the Rats Pad XL. Let me try it out. It's actually pretty slick. I don't know if I, I don't even know if I need this. I don't even know if I need this. But um, okay, so um, it actually has uh, they said different colors. If it's yellow, is like a thousand DPI. Green is two thousand. Blue. Four purple is eight. So I guess the the mouse is gonna light up. 
different colors, I guess. I'm not sure. Good. Okay, that's about it. Okay, here's the mouse, and you can see the um, the red dragon thingy blinking. That's the breathing feature there. Oops, let me focus it a little bit. And I'm currently using it on um, 4,000 DPI, which is blue. Go down to green, it's I think 2,000. Go up here, yeah. purple is like 8,000. I'm keeping it on blue 4,000. Although I do notice that um, it doesn't quite feel like 4,000. It feels slower than 4,000 DPI. But, you know, I think for me, blue is okay. 4,000 is okay. Also, another issue is um, these buttons, you have to install the software for the buttons to work. It's not like the other mouses, where uh, other mice, whatever. Where, like, for example, you buy like a Logitech mice, like if you go to your web browser, this will go forward, this will go back, you know, f next page, back page, whatever. Uh, none of these buttons work unless you install the software. Well, for me, anyway. And this button seems to do almost the same thing as the, uh, the what you call it, left click button. Because I, I didn't install the software yet. But so far, I've been using it for a few days and it seems pretty good. Feels pretty good in the hand. Grippy, very grippy. The bre oh, yes, one more thing. You can actually change the light of the uh, this part, the breathing part, on the bottom here. There's a button. You press it. Whoops. I'm trying to press it. See, now it's like yellow or white. Now it's green, blue purple, whatever, now it's red. I prefer red. Oops, I accidentally pressed the DPI button. Go back up to blue. I want this to green. Blue. Oops, get in focus. And, um, I don't know, pretty good mouse for the money. Pretty cheap. But, oh yes, and the scroll wheel is pretty cool. So, that's it. Latest.